Rob Guy here, this guy 604 on DraftKings with some lineup reviews. Um, I really want to talk about roster construction and how you put your lineups together and, and percentages of, of how much of uh, each player you're going to have. So, for instance, in this lineup, this is a, a pretty cash game lineup. Uh, I'm going to run this out in, in quite a few contests, including some 50-50s and head-to-heads. Um, and this one right here, I've got Drew Brees. So Drew Brees is going to be one of my highest owned quarterbacks on the week. Um, so I'm going to have probably 30% right now I'm sitting at Drew Brees lineup. So I'm running out about about 40 lineups this week. Um, and I've got Drew Brees in about 30% of them. I think he's a great play, especially for, uh, uh, for GPPs. I'm going to run him in my cash, but I think he's a great GPP play at 7,200. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott at 7,900. I have him in 80%, 85% of my lineups. I'm going to play a whole lot of Zeke. Um, my next lineup I'm going to show you is not going to have any Elliott, but I'm going to run a whole lot of Ezekiel Elliott this week. And Charkandrick West as well, um, as he's being called Chalk Kandrick West. He's going to be owned by everybody this week. He's, you're going to see some real high ownerships there as well. Him and Zeke are both going to be over 50% owned in the 50-50s, I'm sure, and double-ups. Um, but at 4,400 with Spencer Ware out against Jacksonville at home, you know, he's, a, he's just a great play. Um, I'm going to own, a, like I say, I've got about 80% of him right now, uh, 70, 75%, I think it is, of Charkandrick. For the wide receivers, I like the mid-tier wide receivers for cash games. Um, Jarvis Landry at 7,100 playing against the Jets. Um, he's going to, he's going to, see a ton of targets against that jet secondary um he was on by last week so maybe a few people are going to forget about him but uh but i've seen him talked up a lot so you're going to see a lot of jarvis landry i've got him in about 50 percent of my lineups um next up here we've got dante moncrief um that's my man i'm a big moncrief guy Last week he played in over ninety percent of the snaps, coming off of his injury. Um, a lot of people talked about how it, it, you know his injury wasn't something that was going to stop him from working out, so he's going to be in good shape coming in. Um, caught a touchdown, saw quite a few targets. He's fifty eight hundred this week. I've got Dante Moncrief in about fifty percent of my lineups as well. So you know if you're running ten lineups out, put five of them in with Landry. Make sure you got five of Moncrief. It's really important to keep track of of what you've done and make sure you've got exposure to the guys that you want. If, if, if there's guys you love, make sure you've got 60, 70% of them. If you're running out 10 lineups, make sure you got seven that have got those guys in it. Um, I think it's really important to take notes and, and keep track of, of sort of what, what you've got or guys. Michael Thomas was a bit of a scare earlier in the week. He missed practice. So he wasn't available because of an illness, but then on the injury report, they said it was an ankle or something, but he, on the final injury report, he was not listed. He looks to be full go. At 5,500, he's going to be very high owned as well this week. I'm going to have him in about 50% of my lineups. Um, so all three of these wide receivers I've just touched on, I'm looking to have in about 50% of my lineups. So I'm going to have some that have all three of them, some that have got two out of the three, some that have got one out of the three. Um, but I'm going to have lots of Michael Thomas as well playing playing against San Francisco. I've obviously got him paired up with my quarterback in this lineup and Drew Brees. Um, you know, I think this is a game you can actually stack a lot. Uh, you can go with Michael Thomas, Cooks, Breeze, and and you could even uh, maybe throw a Tory Smith in there on the way back if you wanted some exposure on the San Francisco side of things. A tight end, Antonio Gates, Hunter Henry has been ruled out. Um, San Diego playing against Tennessee this week at home. You know, Rivers and Gates are best buds. This could be Gates last season. They wanna they wanna get him as many touchdowns as possible. He's gonna see a lot of red zone targets. Um, I like Antonio Gates a lot this week. I've got him in about 70% of my lineups. It's, it's him and, and Kyle Rudolph for me on FanDuel. It's Kyle Rudolph. He's, he's super cheap in FanDuel. Uh, DraftKings have got a little more Antonio Gates. He's 3,000. And uh, Ty Montgomery at 5,800. He game stacks with Dante Moncrief a little bit in this one. Um, 5,800. I mean, I also like Devontae Adams. Randall Cobb is, is looking really iffy. If it looks like Randall Cobb's going to play, I'm probably going to drop some of my Moncrief shares. Um, but right now I'm at 35% um, to 40% Ty Montgomery. That might shrink a little bit if it looks like Cobb's going to play come Sunday morning. Running out the Eagles D in this one at 3,100, playing against the Giants. Eli likes to take sacks, um, so I like the Eagles D. Another lineup, this is a little more GPP-ish. This is I'm, I'm, this is a lineup, just, just a bit of an example, where there's going to be a lot less chalk in this lineup. So I've got Andrew Luck as my quarterback, playing against Green Bay. 
I like Andrew Luck this week. I'm probably going to have about, uh, you know, 10%. So I'll probably have five lineups or so that have got Andrew Luck as the quarterback. I'm really going to game stack this lineup. So I'm going to have lots of guys from Indianapolis and Green Bay in this lineup. I, I mean, I really like Aaron Rodgers. I've got him in 20% of my lineups as well. Um, but in this one, I'm going to go with Andrew Luck. He's a little cheaper. He fit in a little bit better on this one. So in my game stack, I'm using just the wide receivers from this game. So I'm going to throw in a few other running back plays that I like. I've got Melvin Gordon at 6,300 against Tennessee. His usage is crazy. He, he touches the ball a ton. Um, I've got Melvin Gordon in uh, 30 to 35% of my lineups that I'm running out there. Um, at 6,300, you know, another guy around that range I like is Devontae Booker at 6,400 going against Oakland. Um, I, I like him as well, but, uh, but get some Gordon in your lineups. Darren Sproles at 3,900 going against the Giants. I touched on him and Rob's reaches. I like Darren Sproles this week. Um, in this lineup, I don't have Charkandrick West or Ezekiel Elliott, so this is going to be extremely contrarian. Um, there's not going to be very many lineups you see in any, in any tournaments that don't have either of those guys in them. So I've got T.Y. Hilton paired up with Andrew Luck, 7,600. Um, I'm not, I like T.Y. a lot this week. I'm, I'm not going to have as much of them as I might have in some other weeks. I'm probably only going to be looking at about 25%, maybe even a little less than that. Uh, T.Y. Hilton. I've got Ty Montgomery in this one as well at 5,800. And then I'm also throwing in uh, Jordy Nelson and Dante Moncrief into this lineup as well. So Jordy Nelson at 7,800. I'm going to have about uh, 35% Jordy Nelson ownership this week like him a lot. Uh, Vontae Davis is going to play, which is unfortunate. He had been out with a concussion. He is going to play. Maybe that'll help keep Jordy's ownership down. Uh, but I do like Jordy Nelson a lot at 7,800. In the tight end position, I went back with Gates at 3,000. Um, it's just, it's, it's tough not to use him. I'm going to have him, like I said, in about 70 or 75%. Another tight end I'm liking is Greg Olson, if you want to pay up at tight end. And then I also like Kyle Rudolph, like I touched. He's fourth, like I touched on earlier. He's 4,000 on DraftKings. Um, playing against the Lions, who are just terrible against tight ends. So Kyle Rudolph looks like a really good play. Also, Pat Shermer, who's come in as the offensive coordinator for the uh, for the Vikings. He was the he was a tight ends coach before. Um, he likes throwing. He's got a good history throwing to the tight end. And Detroit uh, just sucks against tight ends. And I've already touched on Dante Moncrief in my previous lineup. I've got him in this one as well at 5,800. So we're fully game stacking which is a great strategy, I think, in GPPs. If this game goes, this is the highest over-under of the week of 54 points. If this game goes way over um, the projected over-under, or even hits, you know, 55, 60 total points, both teams scoring around 30 points, 24 to 36 could be a score, you know, something along those lines. We, we've got a lot of the players are going to be putting up the points. And I've got Eagles D again at 3,100 in this lineup as well. I also like the Packers defense for a cheaper option this week. And, of course, the Chiefs' defense are going to be the highest owned, I think, on the week. Uh, I definitely like them as well.